there is a real cultural problem at the city of Las Cruces Police Department. Today, a federal wrongful death case was filed against the Las Cruces Police Department. The incident that sparked the suit is just from a few weeks ago. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinelli is here with what happened. Yeah, Doug, a warning. What you're about to see may be hard to watch. We've obtained body cam video from the incident and spoke to the attorney representing the family. Around 4.45 a.m. on October 3rd, 2023. Roll the window down. Teresa Gomez was in her car and was approached by Las Cruces police officer Felipe Hernandez. I'm looking for my, for my keys. Officer Hernandez asks Gomez to step out of the car and tells her the man inside her vehicle is trespassing on the property, so he's going to conduct an investigation. You have to provide me with your name and date of birth. That is the law. All right, if there's probable cause for, uh, for as a crime being happening, he's already trespassed. That is my probable cause, okay? Explain the officer's behavior towards Gomez. Thuggish. This is so below the standard of care of a normal police officer, it's shocking. Let's not make this difficult because I will, I will really, really make your life a living hell. A little after Officer Hernandez makes that comment, Gomez finds her keys. I found him. Gomez then asks to get back into her car. And he says, sure, get back in the car. She gets back in the car and you can see her look up and, and turn the key and she begins to back out very slowly. And As she backs away. Stop, stop. Officer Hernandez fires three rounds at the car. It's absolutely clearly established, unconstitutional to shoot someone as they're fleeing. Even if she'd been committing a petty misdemeanor or misdemeanor crime, it still would have been unconstitutional. Gomez died from one of the shots. I have never seen such egregious behavior caught on a body worn camera. So this is one of the worst cases you've seen. It's absolutely one of the worst cases I've seen. That's why Shannon Kennedy has taken on the case. She's suing the Las Cruces Police Department on behalf of the family in a wrongful death case. But she says these cases are becoming more common with Las Cruces PD. Does it seem like the, the Las Cruces Police Department is well on its way to the DOJ coming in and asking for reform? If they are not willing to find leadership from within to reform from within, I don't think the federal government has a choice. An officer Hernandez is on paid administrative leave. Kennedy tells us as part of their lawsuit, they're waiting on his file to see if he's been disciplined in the past. I'm John Carnelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. In a statement that police department writing, the October 3rd shooting on Burley Court is still under investigation by the Officer Involved Incident Task Force. Once that team completes its investigation, findings are forwarded to the 3rd Judicial District Attorney's Office for review.